First of the feature races, I'm bringing you a punch us down here in awful, awful racing conditions. Bottomless ground here. It's the gravel hurdle, two mile, two furlong, listed race for five year old horses and up. Great debate in Scorched Earth, the two Leon Van Rensburg runners. Alsada Shine, Ryan Costello, Eaton Mess. You can rule that one out. It's a three mile heard left for my stable fire rhapsody your favorite for paul Rhodes. kingdom of man joshua sutherland marsh zoo craig allen rave express craig beckwith fiorente paul Rhodes. fountain springs darren thompson mandrake root martin leadham and she's far ted for graham clutterbuck and the star lets them go they're off and running here bottomless ground but clear skies and no more rain falling which is good to see Get a really clear view of this action and the race goes here in their hundreds for some really good races here at Punchestown in week four of the Starters Orders League. And Mandrake Root goes out into an early lead for my co-commentator Martin Leadham and Marsh Zoo just leading that chase and pack alongside Kingdom of Man in the black and red hoops for Joshua Sutherland. That one's racing widest on the course and towards the rear of the field at the moment we've got Fire Rhapsody, Eaton Mess and the back marker at the moment is Scorched Earth. As they come to that next flight of hurdles, all of them pop over that safely, slightly slow jump at the rear of the field by Fire Rhapsody, and that's relegated the grey horse to be the back marker. So Mandrake Root setting a good pace up front, and already has an advantage of five lengths or so to King Great Debate, Kingdom of Man and Marsh Zoo travelling wider uh, on the course, but just in behind Great Debate. And on the near side on the rail is Rave Express in the dark blue silks with the white sleeves and hat. Eaton Mess just in behind those. We've got Alsada Shine, She's Far Ted and Fire Rhapsody racing uh, towards the centre of the track as well. And the back marker at the moment is now Fiorente, uh, with the other Paul Rhodes runner. So into the final 12 furlongs we go and it's still Mandrake Root travelling powerfully up front and setting a good gallop and maintaining a 3-4 to four length advantage over three runners that come from some of the powerhouse stables. That's Kingdom of Man, Josh Sutherland, Marsh Sue, Craig Allen and Great Debate, the current National Hunt champion and current National Hunt standings leader after three weeks. That's Leon Van Rensburg who saddles two here trying to land this listed prize so into the final 10 furlongs we go it's still mandrake root gonna look to try and cause an upset from the front here as we know anything can win when the ground's like this so it's going to be interesting to see how this race unfolds there was a slightly slow jump towards the rear of the field again by fiorente and she's far ted seemed to drop out the back quite quickly as did alsada shine hopefully nothing amiss with those horses and um, we now have a mile left to go here in the gravel hurdle and Mandrake Root still has that lead. Uh, one that's dropped away from being just in off the pace is Kingdom of Man for Josh Sutherland. So that one was racing just off the pace and is now uh, probably closer to the rear of the field than it is the front. Uh, Mandrake Root got in a little bit close to that hurdle and just had to jump quite high to get over it to correct itself. But what that meant was it lost around a length, one to two lengths to Marsh Zoo, who was closer than ever before in behind the leader Mandrake Root, the long-time leader Mandrake Root. Fire Rhapsody, one of the shorter prices and uh, I think might have been one of the favourites in the betting before the race went off, is now getting ever closer for Paul Rhodes and Kingdom of Man has moved right back up to the front of the field as well. Uh, Fountain Springs, Rave Express and Great Debate and it looks to be between these horses as there's four and a half furlongs left to go and there's quite a gap opening up to the likes of Fiorente, Eaton Mess, Alsada Shine. It doesn't look like anything else is going to be able to get into this race. So coming towards three and a half furlongs now, it's still Mandrake Root in the lead. Rave Express, Marsh Zoo, Fountain Springs, Kingdom of Man was a little bit slow at that one and Great Debate probably put in the best uh, leap of all and that's allowed that one to get ever closer to Mandrake Root but Mandrake Root still, still trying to hold off all challenges as they suddenly turn right-handed and start to come towards the home straight. Mandrake Root, Great Debate now moving up alongside and the long-time lead has been passed. Great Debate goes off into the lead from Fountain Springs. Rave Express trying to stay on. Marsh Zoo staying on really well as well after looking to touch one paced uh, in the middle part of the race. So it's it's great debate coming to the last gets over it well bad error from rave express and that allows marsh zoo to go into th in the second and is trying to chase down the leader great debate but the line's coming too soon for it great debate wins marsh zoo held in second i think rave express got third place there so as you can see 
in the replay there. It's a comfortable win in the end for great debate. Shot clear with a couple of flights left to go and nothing looked like being able to peg it back. So Marsh Zoo settles for second for Craig Allen. Rave Express third. Craig Beckwith, Kingdom of Man fourth for Joshua Sutherland and Fountain Springs in fifth for Darren Thompson.